So Henrik, are you ready? I'm ready. Cool. So I would like to welcome everyone on today's meeting and I would like to uh, thank especially uh, Henrik, Henrik Schulz, uh, that, she, uh, that he uh, accepted our invitation. And I know Henrik for a couple of years now. We met at the very beginning, 2017, at the global event. And I quickly realized that Henrik has an enormous uh, knowledge regarding the products. He, he came to us at the beginning to Hungary and uh, we had a nice product training. And I must tell you that if there is something uh, which is Henrik is not aware of regarding the products that's not even existing. So he's sort of the grandfather of all the Zinzino products and knows everything in and out. So Henrik, thank you again for accepting the invitation and we are eager to, to learn from you tonight. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm not sure how to respond to such a, a fantastic introduction. You put pressure on me. <laughs> so um, I, I know a little. Um, please le let me point out that I am not a doctor, but I'm very interested in the products. And like Arian and the CEO, Doug, we, we study the products very hard. Uh, but I am not a doctor, but I have the privilege of working together with Paul Clayton, Angela Rizzo, and a lot of other clever people. So um, I, I would say if there are things that I don't know, I will find out. Um, so today I, I would like to share some information with you. Um, for some it will be a repetition, for some it will be new. Um, and let me see that everything works. So you can see my presentation now, I think. Yes, we can. OK, perfect. So I'd like to start um, to mention about something called the Mediterranean diet. See if my computer is working. Great. So something called the Mediterranean diet has been talked about for lots of years to being a healthy food. And part of the healthy food is the olive oil, but also omega-3 that comes from fatty fish and nuts and seeds. But the olive oil is quite important in this. And I will not go through all of this. This is found easily for everybody on the internet in your own language. Um, so we will make it a bit simple and quick in this respect. Um, there are even doctors finding out that the Mediterranean diet has a prevention. And prevention is of course meaning minimizing the risk of getting problem. So this is extremely important also. And again, there are so much things to read about it on your own level uh, later on. WHO, they also made a report about health in your mind and your brain. That's called the cognitive situation. And they are talking about decline and they are talking about dementia. And again, they are pointing out in this book that is found on the internet uh, that the Mediterranean diet is minimizing the risk of cognitive decline or dementia. And they are pointing out that a healthy and balanced diet is recommended for people. And again, we're talking nuts, vegetables, olive oil, and fatty fish. And we're also all governed by something called EFSA, the European Food and Safety Authority. They are the ones who together with the local authorities in Hungary and Sweden and everywhere in Europe, deciding what is okay to say because it's based on science. And in terms of olive oil, they are pointing out that omega-9, which is also called oleic acid, this is very important for your cholesterol levels. And they are pointing out that the antioxidants that are called polyphenols, they are extremely good in protecting your blood fats from oxidation. And if we summarize that in a simple way, it means that omega-9 and the antioxidants are extremely important for your arteries, your veins, your heart, which is all in all 
your heart health. And that is minimizing the risk of getting problems. And that could be blood pressure, which is the number one killer in terms of heart diseases in the world, and so on. So recognizing the importance of olive oil, which has a high content of oleic acid, and also polyphenols, this is important for us. Then we come to the product. And now we're talking a new product that is extremely interesting. We came across this company making a revolutionary extra virgin olive oil only a few months ago. And we decided this is what we want. We want to grab this company, take the products and make it our own before anybody else gets it. The scientific work and all the analysis that we could do has to come in a second step. We don't want to lose time and we don't want to make uh, the chance for anybody else to get hold of this company. So we have this Revo oil. And if we look at it, it comes from Cyprus. It's made from something that is called Koreneke olives. More importantly, they come from trees that are organic. And you see, normally, some, in some countries, you're using pesticides and fertilizers to help the tree. But if they are organic, the tree has to handle all their problems by their own. And therefore, organic trees produce extra large amounts of all the phytochemicals, phytonutrients it needs. And these phytonutrients are not only in the tree, they're also available in the Karaneke olives. So that's why we're getting olives picked from organic trees. Not because they're organic, but because they have an extremely high content of the phytonutrients. And the company that we are so interested in, they have a patented process. And to make that short and simple, we can summarize it like this. That Normally, you use a lot of water when you are crushing and washing the olives. But this company, they have no extra water. There is water anyway present in any fruit. There is no extra oxygen allowed into the process because it's closed all the way. And instead of crushing and getting a mixture of oil and water, where you then use a centrifuge with enormous amounts of force, like 20 G, and if you are using a centrifuge, the, you have an emulsification. The water molecules and the olive oil molecules, they come together. Like you do in your kitchen sometimes when you use a blender or a mixer where you have olive oil and other ingredients. And when you mix them together, they are not separated. They become one ingredient that you use in your sauce or your cooking. It's the same here. That emulsification, causes uh, the olive to oxidize, and then it consumes their own antioxidant to stop that. In this patented process, the oil comes to be separated naturally. It floats on the top of the water, and then it's taken out and the water is left. There is no centrifugation. And this means we are starting with olives from organic trees with enormous amounts of phytonutrients, then crushed and then separated in normal way. And all these nutrients are kept in the product. And this makes it a revolutionary extra high content. In fact, when we check versus an extra virgin olive oil and our revolutionary extra virgin olive oil, the difference is around 30 times. And now you might say, well, is this so important? Well, if we summarize it a little bit and look what they are writing in various scientific documents, the olive polyphenols are the number one in the world. They are the strongest antioxidants you can find that is good for you. They are extremely important for your gut. They are extremely important for the brain. And for example, also, if you're interested in beauty, it's important for your skin and anti-aging. They make your skin more elastic and wrinkles disappear. You might have experienced this with a balance oil, for example. 
So the olive polyphenols that are of many kinds are quite important. Now the next slide is gonna be maybe a little bit too much, but I'll show you anyway. So we have roughly 74% of the omega-9 that is so important for the cholesterol. Now, if we look at the polyphenols, it's around 2,300, 2,500 versus 75 milligrams per kilo that you might find in the supermarket olive oil. I think most of you agree this is significantly higher. Our fantastic pico olive oil that we have in the balance oil that comes from Spain is also in enormous amounts, 750. So this is fantastic, 2,300 and above. There are other interesting polyphenols called oleocantal. We have around 980, normal oil has 230. In oil European, we have five milligrams per kilo. Doesn't sound too much, but this important nutrient is washed away in normal oil and therefore they don't contain anything. ESA are stating, like I mentioned before, that hydroxyturosol, the important antioxidant, protects your blood fats from oxidization. It's roughly 1,235 in our revolutionary oil and the standard oil, maybe 200. And you can see the other mesalinic acid and squalene, 16,100 versus 350. So we have enormous amounts of all these. And if we would like to discuss each and every of these, it's gonna to be too complicated and too long time. So we rely on EFSA and say oleic acid, good for your cholesterol, hydroxytyrosol, protects your blood fats from oxidization. And we have enormous amounts of these. In fact, you would only need to take, you know, a teaspoon or a tablespoon compared to taking what you get from a bottle. 30 times more. That's how potent it is. And um, when it comes to the effect, you will see that in your own way when you're taking the product. And we will support the product as we go on. But right now, we had to get it out to you quick. So join the revolution for the revolutionary extra virgin olive oil. Secondly, I'd like to talk about the Cinzino health protocol. And some of you, you know the product since before, but I would like to talk about them in a slightly different way. Because normally we talk about balance oil is getting your omegas right, Xenobiotic is taking care of your gut and the extent is doing this, but it's larger than that. We need to have a holistic point on it. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we look at the food, who we are, what we are consuming today, good food, fast food, processed food or not, if we're talking about the immune system, prevention, brain, then we look at our bodies and how it feels and there are processes like inflammation and so on. What about the heart and what about the gut? And in actual fact, I'd like to talk about more or less all of these with all the products. So you understand it's not one product for one thing and another product for another thing. First of all, I like to point out very strongly, prevention is always better than a cure in two ways. First of all, if you can minimize the risk of getting something, that is of course fantastic. If you get the problem, that's bad, and then you might be able to cure it. Sometimes you can't. Secondly, from a business point of view, if you are introducing the product to yourself or any customer as a cure, cures are always for a limited time whereas prevention is for the rest of your life. And in Cinzino, we believe all our products are needed for the rest of your life. And therefore we can keep the customers. But we do see that customers are calling into the office wanting to cancel their subscriptions and so on because the cure didn't do what it was supposed to do or they are feeling better and now they don't need it. 
So for your own body and for your own business, prevention is always better. So if we're thinking about omega-3, this is important for your system. EFSA are stating that if you can get three grams of omega-3 into your system, not only into your mouth, all the way into your system, this will normalize your blood pressure. And high or bad blood pressure is the number one killer when it comes to heart problems in the world. And heart problems is in all a fantastic large piece of all the problems we have at the hospitals and so on. So this is serious to take care of the omega freeze. There are even some important people like William Harris, the famous omega free doctor in America. He has also made studies suggesting that if you need, if you get about 8% omega free in your blood, then you're in minimizing the risk of getting problems. It's a risk indicator to be below and it's fantastic if you're above. Simopoulos, she made studies together with other people on, on, on the balance of omega-6 and omega-3. And she also concluded that if you are one to one or two to one, you're minimizing the risk problems. Angela Risso in Milan, professor, she also stated this, that you need to have a balance in the cell membranes and it has to be below three to one. And this is a way of improving your health condition and wellness. So the science and the EFSA and the authorities agree this is important. So how do we eat? What do we do? 60% roughly are eating processed food, which is not so healthy. Most of the processed food contains salt, sugar, and saturated fats in larger amounts than we need. The health authorities also in Hungary, what are they writing on the webpage? You should, as a consumer, reduce the use of salt, sugar, and saturated fats. Not to make the food taste uh, less, just to make you become better and minimize the risk of getting something. And then you say, well, I don't eat so much processed food. Yeah, okay, maybe not. So take a look at this picture. I think we can agree that, that sweets and candy is, is processed, but what about orange juice? What about yogurt? What about sometimes the frozen food that we buy and, and heat up in our microwave? Pizzas, hamburgers, and so on. Sometimes the processed food is not easy to detect, but it's there. So it's difficult for most people. Now, if we look at omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9, and so on, then we're also getting into a problem. Most people I talk to, um, they're eating white fish, which do not contain omega-3. Some people eat fatty fish like anchovies, salmon, and sardines, and so on. But the salmons we normally get is farmed, and farmed fish do not eat algae. Therefore, the farmed fish do not contain any omega 3s to mention, maybe 25% only of a wild fish. So that means even if you're cooking at home, the food is not the perfect. In hard times, people are looking on what they spend on food and soya bean oil and corn oil are cheap. They contain mainly omega 6. Instead of buying the good uh, olive oil that contains omega 9 and antioxidants. Sometimes when I go to restaurants, also in Hungary and Czech and Italy, they point out now you're eating, a, if you can choose a free range cattle meat in this restaurant. And they point out that this is super good. And it is, and the taste is better. Another thing is also when you analyze the meat is that if the cattle, the pig, or whoever, it is, whatever animal it is, is eating grass most of the time, that meat contains more omega-3 compared to the animal standing inside and eating grains and other pellets and so on. So it's not easy, even if you're trying to cook the best food. I even had a dialogue with one of our new members in our logistics department. He comes from a fruit and vegetables import company. He told me every single 
fruit they are importing, lemons, uh, oranges, uh, all kinds of vegetables are imported being green. And then they keep them in the warehouse and hope that they will become red or whatever color it should have. Banana should be yellow and so on. Tomatoes should be red. And they even have a gas that they spray out in the warehouse to increase the change from going green to going red or, or yellow and so on. These do not contain much of the nutrients we want. So if we then look at omega-3 from European food and safety, what are they actually stating that we legally and honestly can say? Well, EPA and DHA, the omega-3s, they are extremely good in protecting your heart. They contribute to normal heart. They contribute to normal brain function. They contribute to normal development of the brain in fetuses and small children. It contributes to normal eye. It contributes to normal triglyceride levels and cholesterol levels, which are very important for, for your arteries and your veins, and also normalized blood pressure. So it seems like most people agree, not only the scientists, omega-3 is important. And I've shown you this before, the omega-9, the oleic acid and the polyphenols in the olive oil are important for your cholesterols and to protect your cells. If we then also look at vitamin D, it is extremely good in protecting you and contributing to a normalized um, immune system. It helps you to normalize uh, the calcium levels. It's good for your muscles. It's good for your teeth. So these ingredients are, or nutrients are good for many things, but it doesn't stop there. So we come back to this one that I showed you before, the WHO talking about dementia. And they made a summary in this booklet that you need to consume fruit, vegetables, and fatty fish to minimize the risk of having dementia. And when they're talking about fish, it's fatty fish and the intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which is in the fish, that's also good. They are mentioning nuts, olive oil, and even coffee that they have found is associated with a reduced risk of dementia. And we can go on like this. I showed you this one earlier also, the Mediterranean diet, which they point out. So it's so easy to let your food be your pharmaconutrition, but what are we actually eating? Coming back to Simopoulos, she made a study and she found out that if you have a bad imbalance, you are actually putting yourself at risk. At the same time, she pointed out that you can change your diet and then come down in a normalized way, maybe to three to one. And this can be done in a fairly short time. And then you are reversing the situation you have. And she also points out the blood pressure in her studies, which corresponds with what EFSA are stating. So if we're then saying that, okay, omega-3 and all those things are very important, what's the situation? Well, we have the world's largest database of tests of fatty acids, over half a million. And it's so easy to see that the majority are not even close to being balanced. We can also see that people taking omega-3 they don't reach the 8% that William Harris is talking about in America. It's 4 or 5%. It depends the averages on what country and what region, but roughly like that. And an omega-6 and omega-3 balance, nah, maybe 15 to 1, 10 to 1, or 8 to 1, but absolutely not below 3 to 1. So that is the situation, what we need to have, what we need to eat, and what we are. And this is, of course, sad news. And then we go move over to our product, the balance oil. And then it's so important to mention it is not an omega-3 product. I don't want anybody to even mention it is an omega-3 oil. Omega-3 oils are the ones that are pure omega-3 products. We have a balance oil. So if we look at it, it contains 
the antioxidants, the polyphenols from olives. And then it contains omega-3, but also omega-6 and omega-7 and omega-9. Our oil comes mainly from sardines, no, sorry, anchovies. And anchovies have a content of omega-7. So that's why we have. And then we have vitamin D. And it's quite easy to see that this is not an omega-3 product. It has so many other things. So why, why is this so important? Well, the importance is that we need to make sure you do get in balance, that you do increase your omega-3 content after 120 days above 8%. And this is basically how it works. If we are to make it super simple, that I think anybody can remember. So if you're eating a wild caught salmon, sardine, anchovies, or mackerel, the fish contains various omegas. Yes, omega-3, but also omega-7 and so on. It also contains vitamins naturally, like A and D. It contains antioxidants. So if you're eating a wild fish, there is really no limit. You can eat as many as you want and your body will react and be very happy and consume it and you will get it into your cells and you will get into balance. We see this on the studies of people living on the west coast of Norway, Denmark and some other countries where they're catching wild fish and eating a lot of fatty fish. Now, if you just take out one small piece from the uh, fish, like the omega-3, and leave the antioxidants and the other omegas and vitamins behind, then unfortunately, your body reacts negatively and only take up a little. Yes, you will go from maybe 15 to 1 down to 8 to 1. But that's like taking you know, only half the medicine you need if you're sick you need to get above 8% and get a good balance. So the secret that we tell everybody about is that we have roughly 60% fish oil, and then we have 40% good olive oil from Spain with lots of antioxidants. And now we are replicating how a fish is. So we have antioxidants and we have various kinds of omegas and we have vitamins. And suddenly you can dose anything and your body will react positively and take up the omegas into your cells and you get into balance. And it doesn't matter if you're a 50 kilo and take a small dose, a 100 kilo person taking 50 milliliters or 150 kilo person taking even more. Your body will accept the omegas and you will have a good situation. That's how simple it is. And the fish oil and the olive oil, they are just blended. There is no chemical reaction. They are put together in a tank in Iceland and blended slowly over a long time. So they become one product. But it is more or less like eating a salmon and drinking a good olive oil at the same time. The important role of the antioxidants that we have is to protect the omegas. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, all the antioxidants are important for you. But I'd like to you know, stress that the most important thing in this balance oil is to protect the omegas to get to the cell membrane. So not to overcomplicate it. So from Spain, we get the Piqual olive oil. We harvest them before the normal period to get extra high content. The total content, as I mentioned earlier, is around 750 milligrams per kilo. And the important hydroxytyrosol is around 400. So it protects your blood part from oxidization. And if you take a 12 milliliter dosage, you get roughly 3.5. And this gives you a good situation all in all. But the most important is to make sure your omegas are accepted. If we summarize it like this, if you, like me, are eating farmed fish because I cannot get hold of the wild fish, I cannot get in balance with that kind of fish. There is no omega in it, or very little. 
if I take a pure fish oil, which is only omega-3 or krill oil or whatever, it might be the best, purest oil in the world, but it still doesn't get you into balance. So unfortunately, it doesn't work. If you live in a country or a situation where you're eating wild caught fatty fish, you could eat that many times per week and perhaps you don't need to have the supplement. But you might need a supplement like balance oil anyway to get the olive oil and the vitamins. And otherwise, the balance oil is doing the job for you. So if we then summarize this long speech, we can conclude that the balance oil is helping you, supporting you, compensating for the food you are buying or the ingredients you are buying, cooking your own food, since they lack the vital in nutrients or they don't have the omegas in it. Then it contains the um, vitamin D, which is very important for your immune system. So it's doing a job there. The EPA and the EHA is very important for your brain. When you get into balance, you are reducing the inflammation processes. So it's doing a good job there. It's minimizing the risk for your heart. Both the olive oil and the EPA and the EHA are doing a good job to make sure you have a normal heart situation. And if we're looking at the gut, which I actually forgot to put a mark on, polyphenols are very important for gut health. So actually we are ticking all the boxes here. And we're coming back to, if by consuming this, you are in a prevention mode, minimizing the risk of something happening. So if we then move on to the next product, the Extend. There are so many things you need to function as a person. Uh, you need the proteins, you need carbohydrates, the, the fermentable one, which is good for your gut. You need uh, fatty acids, which we just talked about, vitamins, trace elements, and all those things, and beta glucans, and you need cyanogens. This is what you normally get a little got 100 years ago when you're eating lots of things. But today, we are eating differently. So I'm repeating myself, and I will do that several times for you. So we're eating more plant oils. The meat, for many of us, comes from cattle or pigs that have been standing inside too long. Sugar and starch, we're eating more of that because the industry is using that in most of our dishes to make it taste better. And the special carbohydrates, we're eating less of that vegetables not so often, and we are not doing physical activity. And we're coming back to this slide again, and I'm repeating myself. This is what we're eating. And again, this is what we are eating. And you might say, well, I'm not sure if, if I eat that. And then I can say, I've been to Hungary now so many times, during events, during the evenings, I see what people eat. Not everybody are eating the best. And we don't do it in Sweden either. We are for sure not. Coming back to this picture again, but we look at it from a nutrient and vitamin content. Again, farmed fish, nutrients, uh, not so much. Which oil are you using? not so much nutrients like in olive oil. And also when analyzing the meat from cattle inside or standing outside, nutrients and vitamins are also less. I talked about my new colleague in the logistics department who confirmed this. They import green tomatoes that I don't have so much phytonutrients. They are long, um, a nutrient is developed in fruit and vegetables when they are growing under the sun until they are ready to be picked but they are shipped from somewhere in the world to a warehouse where they are getting red or green or yellow or whatever color they should have. And if that's not happening, they are spraying out the gas to make sure it changes colors. Nutrients, not so much. And then hand on your heart, what about mushrooms? Are you eating that every week? 
I mean, I tried to be very good and I probably eat it once or twice a month. Really need to make sure that we're buying. Uh, when it comes to beers today, filtered or unfiltered. And what kind of bread are you eating? Properly baked or fast food baked? It's difficult to get good bread with good ingredients where they use yeast. And you see, yeast has an important immune protection. And that's why it's so interesting with unfiltered beer. And the same um, beta glucans are also found in mushrooms. So 100 years ago, we were eating differently and got this. Most people today don't eat it and we end up having something. So when we don't come, come to, to extend, it's developed to compensate for today's food and to support you for your normal immune systems. And I put systems in plural because we have several ones. So 43 ingredients, we cannot go through all that. It will be too complicated and too long time. So let's just put it like this. It contains most of the vitamins, most of the minerals, most of the algae and other phytonutrients and extracts to compensate. And we have a blend of three different kinds of beta-glucan to support the immune system. And now it's going to get complicated. So let's summarize it one more time. So we cannot have all the vitamins, but together with Paul Clayton, we chose the most important ones that we think the society are missing in the food and that we can put in a tablet that works together. The same with the minerals and the phytonutrients. Then when it comes to the immune systems, we have, well, we have four kinds, if you want to say it. The, the skin is the first immune system that protect us, but then we have what we call the innate immune system. The uh, innate reacts immediately if somebody's coughing or, or sneezing uh, close to you. And that is the most important immune system. If you take animals, most of the animals in the world from the largest to the smallest only have an innate immune system that protects them, them immediately if something, bacteria or anything comes in their way. That's how important it is. Then we have the adaptive, the learning immune system. And then we have something that takes care of your cells on the inside. So the vitamin C and vitamin D is very important for your overall immune system. And the last one I'm mentioning here, the beta glucans from yeast, they are extremely important for your innate immune system. That makes that immune system react so much faster when somebody is sneezing, coming close to you with COVID-19 or whatever. If they can react fast, they can kill off whatever comes in their way immediately. The final third one that we think is quite interesting is are the cyanogens found, for example, in the broccoli extract that we have in the product. It's also found like in Germany and they have something called sauerkraut. I'm not sure if you're eating that in, in, in Hungary, but that is very also powerful having this cyanogen. This poison is also found in the tears of your eyes. And if you think about it, how often have you had an eye infection over the last 20 years, 30 years. You might have had a cold, you might have had the influenza, but you don't get eye infection, do you? And that's because of the cyanogen that is found in the tears that kills off any bacteria that comes even close. So that's how effective it is. And by having this cyanogen in the extent, we make sure that the innate immune system is up and working and aggressive the normal immune system, the learning one, is getting the best they can have. So uh, it works properly. And then we have the cyanogens to take care of if there are any bad bacteria that comes into your system anyway. So that's how important the extent is. And if we then summarize it again, you will see from a holistic point of view, it compensates for the food and the ingredients that we are buying today. It takes care of the gut because you need several vitamins and minerals 
to make the gut work properly. And the gut is very important, which I will come back to. The immune system, well, we have free actions to make sure you have a normal functioning immune system at every level. The various vitamins are extremely important for your brain function also. It's sometimes easy to forget, but you know, there are, you know, uh, for example, uh, what shall we take? Um, vitamin C, folate, B vitamins, iron, iodine, copper, and things like that, that are extremely good to make sure your nervous system and your brain is working at its best. So we also have the heart. There are some vitamin Bs and so on. They're also contributes to a normal heart function. And all in all, if you are consuming the product, you are in a prevention mode, minimizing the risk of getting something because you made sure all your systems on all the levels are getting what they need. And this is not a cure. This is for the rest of your life. Coming to the third product in the health protocol, we have what we call the microbiome, the good and bad bacteria in your large intestine. And both of these are very important because they are taking care uh, of various things, but they need food. And the bad bacteria, they will eat anything. And the good bacteria, they eat only dietary fibers. And life is, life is really unfair. I mean, I, sometimes I hope, why couldn't it be that beer, potato chips, and chocolate was the diet if you wanted to lose weight? And broccoli and tomatoes and salad was something you would eat if you didn't care about what you're eating. So life is unfair. And the same with the bacteria. You can eat so much of everything, but if you're not eating precisely dietary fibers, then the good bacteria are starving and the bad bacteria are taking over. We come back to the picture you've seen before. What are we eating in general? Fortunately, the complex carbohydrates, no. We're eating other things and lots of sugar and starch that are no use for the good bacteria. And reminding you again, processed food, that's where we are. And Another reminder again, this has to do with your gut. So based on what you are eating, my friend, the bad bacteria increase in number and the good bacteria decrease in number. And this is not the best situation. I mean, there are things like the bad bacteria are secreting something called LPS, and they are secreting something that causes inflammation in your gut. The good bacteria, they are secreting something called butyrate, which is very anti-inflammatory and doing a lot of good things. So we need to take care of this. So when we look at the carbohydrates uh, that are needed, the dietary fibers, sometimes they are called prebiotics, food for the good bacteria. They need to go through your mouth, through your stomach, pass through your small intestine un without changing, without any fermentation. It's when they come to the large intestine, that's where the fermentation should happen. And then they become food for the good bacteria. And if we can make this happen and create a balanced situation for your microbiome, this is not about my gut is working better. No, no, it's much bigger than that. We're talking brain health, immune health, and then also digestion and gut function. So how can this be? Well, there is a nerve, the vagus nerve, that goes from your brain all the way to your gut, and they are connected. Most of you have felt sometimes when you're extremely nervous, you feel like going to the toilet right now, immediately. And that's because the connection from your brain goes to your large uh, intestine, and that one is only you know, 20 centimeters away from the toilet. So when the brain says, go to the toilet, it's going now. On the other hand, 
when people are experiencing a bad situation in their stomach, in the large intestine, over a long time, the mood is changing and anxiety is happening. And this has been a lot of studies done on this by doctors in the world. So they have looked at, for example, how many different kinds of bacteria do you have? And they can see anxiety and stress if you have less uh, amount of bacteria and, and different, less, and not so many kinds of bacteria. That's one thing. They can also say that when we are consuming high levels of protein, saturated fats, and sugar and salt, this is not so perfect. And the low amounts of fibers. And this is linked to immune dysfunction meaning the immune system is not working perfectly. Um, this is, oh, sorry. And this is of course not so perfect when all the reports are showing that most of the immune cells are found in the gut. And this is part of the important innate immune system. And there are numerous reports about anxiety, stress, and bad bacteria. They're coming out now. It's extremely popular to talk about it in Sweden. Hospital after hospital are coming out with this. In the TV, we see programs about it. I met, I met a psychiatrist during the summer. He treats his schizophrenia, and it sees that most of the people who have schizophrenia, they have a bad bacteria situation. So they start treatment now with altering the microbiome to be more balanced. So this is extremely interesting. I mentioned earlier that bad bacteria are producing LPS, which is not so perfect. And I mentioned that good bacteria, they produce other things like butyrate that is extremely important in digestive health and prevention of diseases. So coming down to the dietary fibers, that is sometimes called the short chain fatty acid, SCFA to keep the brain and immune system healthy. And there are various things you can buy in the grocery to help your stomach in a better situation. These are some of the things you can buy. But if you want to make it simple, we prepare it for you. And then we have the Synobiotic. Later on this year, maybe in roughly, I would say six to seven weeks, we will introduce the Synobiotic Plus. And like all the products, the main difference is that we have taken out synthetic uh, ingredients and replaced them with ingredients that come from a natural source. The natural products are not doing a better job than the non-natural. It is that we've taken out, so perhaps we took out cellulose powder and replaced it with rice powder. We've taken out some extra support um, ingredients that help us form a tablet and compress it. And then we're using something that comes from a natural source. So we're extremely proud of that. It makes us the only company right now that are producing active ingredients and helping ingredients from natural sources. Nobody else is doing that, but it doesn't make the product work so much better for you, but it's good for you. So don't worry if you have Synobiotic and wonder, oh, Synobiotic plus what? No, 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 it's going to be working just as fine. So if you don't want to have the best for your gut, well, you really need to consider having both the balancer and the Synobiotic. This helps the inflammation processes in two ways. Uh, and we mentioned before that the omega-9 and the polyphenols are extremely good for the gut. So the products are working hand in hand like this. So another thing that is important in our blend is that most companies supplying a dietary fiber, a prebiotic fiber, they have one or maybe two ingredients. But if you think about it, that the, the number of bacteria are so many millions and billions, and they are placed different parts of the colon, and they are of different species. They need different kinds of food. So we have different kinds of fibers. Some are being fermented in the beginning, some are being fermented at the end. And this is of course, you know, a bit schematic 
to show you roughly how it could be. But basically, the FOS is fermented in the beginning and the resistant starch is fermented at the end. And that's why it's so effective. And when you're consuming this, one or two or three or four scoops per day, depending on how you eat, then you will have, as the good bacteria grow, a positive impact on the brain health. And when a good bacteria grow, the immune system will work properly, the innate immune system. And as I mentioned, 70, 80% comes from the gut. Then you will have an impact on the immune health. And of course, then you will also have an impact on digestion and gut. And we've mentioned before that beta glucans that this time comes from oat is good in maintaining a normal blood cholesterol value. So that's fantastic. Resistance start, it will help you in not having a rise of blood sugar after a normal meal. And of course, the dietary fibers as such, helping your system to become regular and going to the toilet in a normal way. There are lots of positive things. So again, from a holistic point of view, the synobiotic compensates for what you are not eating. It is extremely good for your gut and everything that happens in your gut. It's good for your immune system because of what's happening in your gut. It's good for your brain because of what's happening in the gut. It's good for your inflammation processes in the gut and everywhere because of what happens in the gut. And it creates a prevention situation. You don't take it as a cure. You take it for the rest of your life on a daily basis. And if we then look at the health protocol products, you now can remember what I've said. All the products are being effective in all the areas. And the good about, thing about it is that, so if the balance oil is good in all areas, and the extend is good in more or less all the areas, and synobiotic is good in all the areas, you realize they are working together. And that's how fantastic it is. So don't think about it as one product doing one thing. No, no, all areas, and they are supporting each other in all areas. And it is for the rest of your life. So I will also spend a few minutes talking about the Viva. And we're talking about anxiety, depression, stress, sleep. And to give you a picture of it, some people are experiencing something. Some people are experiencing everything. Some people, it starts with one thing and then moves on to the other thing. What I know from personal experience and when talking to partners when I'm traveling, if you try to approach another person by talking, are you anxious? 99.9 .9 will say no. If you ask them, you look like you're not sleeping perfectly. How are you? Then this is a door opener for a communication. Then people say, well, I'm a little bit stressed and a bit anxious. And then people start talking about it. So how does it work? And I have a quite simple view on it. I mean, put your hand on the heart. Do you think that professors in the world know how it works in your brain with anxiety and all those things? And if they don't know it, then we can't know really, can we? And then we can just be relaxed and say, okay, look at the facts. We don't know everything, but we can look at the facts. So I've stolen a slide from one of the famous professors in the world. And, you know, roughly 20% will experience depression. There will be slightly more women than men. And the very sad thing is that a lot of young teenagers will experience it also. And suicide is the biggest killer of young people. So we need to take it seriously. And then I claim, and I might be a doctor listening to me now, and I don't want to offend you, but again, these are statistics. 
antidepressants, 40% have no benefit, 30% have some, and 30 have good. My former wife experienced this, and the doctor gave her various kinds of antidepressants that didn't work. She had to take it, didn't work, had to get off the medicine, and that was more or less like going off heroin. Then they tried a new antidepressant, didn't work, she had to get off it, that was not fun. They tried three or four different kinds of antidepressants and nothing worked. It's not the doctors who don't know what to do, it's the brain that is so complicated. They're trying their best. Now, if we are looking at Viva, who contains an Afro extract, in the clinical studies done by doctors in the world, 70% roughly are saying, I like the product. It works for me. So that's quite good. And in the studies where they set a fixed routine of two tablets per day, and they look at it over time, you can see that 15 to 30 days to get an effect of it. Now, some of you might say that, well, we see an effect of the two days. And uh, I've heard about people getting an effect of the one day. And that's fine. These things happen. Nobody knows why. But in the clinical documentations that we have, this is what they can statistically prove and say, 30, 15 to 30 days. So let me just also point out, do not confuse any of the saffrons you can buy in the supermarket with an extract of the Spanish saffron. Totally different things. Saffron is saffron. If you take out an extract with certain actives in it, that's a totally different product. So the Viva, we have saffron extract, and that is the most important. That stands for 99.99% .99 of any effect you might experience. We've added some vitamins, magnesium, iodine, because EFSA, wants us to have an approved ingredient that goes on your mind and your energy and so on. But they are just there to support the Afron extract and make it legal to make a claim about it. So what is it then with the extract? Well, this is too much information, but I'd like to mention it anyway. This particular extract that is not the same as any other extract contains saffronol and croquin and minimum 3.5% of it. So our extract is not like saffron and I will show you it's not the same as other extracts. Other companies might do an extract and ask for other actives in it. So we made analysis of five different actives on the market and we're not going to go through it, but you can see at the bottom line, the Afron that we are using contains 3.5%. And the summary of the number A is 0.6, B, 0.39, and so on. They don't have these particular actives that are clinically documented for what we are doing. So don't compare with Saffron. Don't compare our product with other extracts, they are all different, right? So backing it all up, the doctors have been, have been doing some clinical studies. They are found in your back office because normally when we're doing marketing of uh, our uh, supplements, we should not really use clinical studies to prove it. But I consider this a closed society. Uh, not to sell the product to you, merely to inform you about some important things. But they are found in your back office. The summary of the first one, which is a couple of pages, but I only show you this, 128 people. Mood, stress, anxiety, sleep was improved, and there were no side effects of taking the product. So that is fantastic. If you came to Globe in a couple of years ago, we showed you the presentation of teenagers. And this is, of course, a very vulnerable group of people that we don't want to give antidepressants. So there were 80 teenagers. They all were complaining about having mild to moderate symptoms of anxiety and depression. And they were asked to take two Viva a day. 
and half of the group were taking sugar pills. So, and then afterwards, when they rated themselves, the children rated themselves saying that everything that is positive in life is increased and everything that was negative decreased. The parents rated them also the children and teachers did the same and there were no side effects. So this is fantastic. We have a product that teenagers can take that most of them experience to be fantastic and there are no side effects. You can go on the product, off the product. You can take one, two, three, four tablets for a number of weeks or months and then stop, or you can take it for a day and stop off and on as you want and need and no side effects. There are also studies done on problems with sleep. And this Japanese study showed that after, you know, four weeks, people taking uh, the active uh, Viva, they were sleeping better and of course feeling better. And those taking the sugar pill, the placebo, did not experience that. And when sleep increases in quality, then you don't need sleep medicine. And of course, you feel more enthusiastic and vigor. The study concluded no side effects. We also know that people who are getting older, they have what we call cognitive problems or issues. And that means they have problems with thinking fast enough. They forget things. They, they feel that they are slow in general uh, and, and life is complicated. So just as you can measure your heart, you can measure brain activity. So half the group got, got sugar pills and half got the actives, 35 patients, one year trial. When they're measuring the activities with these electrodes, they can see that the cognitive function in dif different important areas increased. That's the blue line. And the report from the, the people taking part of it, they were happier, they re uh, were thinking better, they thought that the memory was better, and there were no side effects. So that's positive. And you know, the final one I'd like to mention is that we do meet people that are already on antidepressants. And then they say, maybe I should take Viva together on with the antidepressant instead of K or not and so on. And then I always say, well, if you're already on an antidepressant, if you're schizophrenic, if you're bipolar, I think you should talk to your doctor and say, there are some natural products. I'd like to take it and see if that works. Would it be okay with you? Because if you're gonna get off the medicine at some time, it's good to have your doctor positive and involved in it. So coming back again to the antidepressant, we talked about how good or not good they are because brain is complicated. Doctors try their very best. All the scientists developing the drugs do try their best. I mentioned the side effects my wife experienced getting off the product but also during taking the product. So you lose, you have problems with appetite, you lose less sexual desire, you have problems sleeping, you feel constipated, you find yourself anxious anyway, and you like to kill yourself. Um, and our experience was killing yourself was a common discussion at home when you're getting off the product. So it's not a fun situation to be in. But it works for some. So what if somebody's already on these pharmaceuticals? Well, there was a study done on 133 adults with depression, all taking the medicine for eight weeks. And then they were asked to take Viva, the Afron, combined with the medicine. And of course, doctors were involved. And when the doctor were evaluating it, there was a 41 improvement 41% improvement, and people were feeling happy. The medicine side effects I just talked about were reported to be reduced, and there were no new side effects reported that comes from the Viva. So all in all, this shows that wherever you are in life, young, teenager, old, if you're taking antidepressants or not, you can always try the product Sometimes when you, 
while talking to your doctor, but otherwise you can always try the product. You can try one or two or three or four and so on tablets, and you can be on and off the product as and when you need. And there are no side effects. And then you can just relax, you will sleep and you will be happy. So that was the ingredient and the products and the effects that I wanted to mention. And um, if there would be any questions, I would be happy to, to answer it. Um, if I can, I don't know. Uh, uh, thank you, Henrik, for um, presenting us. Well, I believe that the question should be postponed to another time. Okay. We'll definitely uh, make it happen on time. All right. In that Thank case, you very much uh, for uh, presenting us, we already knew that we have some great product, but you know, when we see it into in details, you just uh, assured us that these are really quality products and products which can, you know, give some added value to many, many, many people worldwide. So thank you so much, Henrik, again, uh, that you accepted our invitation. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. And um, we just wait for COVID-19 to disappear and I would be so happy to come down again to Hungary. I really hope that we can meet in person very soon. Yeah. <laughs> again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good Bye -bye. night. Bye.